Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather Jr. clashed in a blockbuster crossover super fight in 2017. The fight was appropriately referred to as the money fight because the fight ended up obtaining the second biggest pay-per-view buys in the history of boxing. But these two are ready to go against each other again. Who will win a fight between these two in a boxing rematch? And who will emerge victorious in an MMA fight? Let's find out. Floyd Mayweather's last opponent in his professional boxing career was UFC lightweight champion Conor McGregor. Since then, the greatest defensive boxer of all time has retired, but he occasionally competes in exhibition matches. Conor McGregor, meanwhile, made his inevitable return to the mixed martial arts competition, where he suffered a defeat at the hands of his bitter rival, Khabib Nurmagomedov, at UFC 229, but went on to win decisively over MMA icon Donald Cerrone. Since then, he has been defeated twice by Dustin Poirier. Both Mayweather and McGregor have expressed in recent interviews their desire to relive the glory of their first fight against one another. Who will win a boxing rematch between these two boxers? Mayweather has a higher chance of winning again. Why? The lack of punches and kicks. It is common practice to underestimate the significance of kicks to Conor McGregor's striking game. They are an essential component of the pressure-based counter-striking strategy he employs in combat. When his opponents try to get closer to him, the Irishman frequently employs the threat of a damaging front kick to the midsection and left high kick to prevent his opponents from getting close to him. This enables Conor McGregor to keep many of his opponents at the end of his favored counter-striking distance and, as a result, create opportunities for his most punishing punches. This makes his opponents become more anxious as the fight proceeds, which convinces them to quickly close the distance between them so that the Irishman can't throw kicks at them. In most cases, this results in his opponents charging at him, which is exactly what the former lightweight champion wants, to provoke his opponents into rushing recklessly into his counter punches. Conor McGregor will not be able to use his kicks in a boxing bout against Floyd Mayweather, allowing Floyd Mayweather to win the match easily. The defensive boxing style of Mayweather. Should Floyd Mayweather choose to box defensively in the rematch, we should expect him to emerge victorious again. McGregor had trouble beating Dustin Poirier in both of their rematches, and one of the reasons for this was Poirier's defensive striking. McGregor has a habit of leaning his upper body forward to the point that his shoulders are in front of his hips. While it does let him add extra inches of reach to his punches, it also forces him to lead with his chin. Poirier's defensive boxing talents allowed him to stun McGregor with check hooks every time the Irishman pushed too far forward in the fight. Floyd Mayweather, who is a far stronger counterpuncher than Dustin Poirier, and who also possesses a better Philly shell and superior footwork, is in a position to truly punish Conor McGregor for pushing forward if he opts for his more traditional and defensive strategy. Is there any chance Conor McGregor will win in a boxing ring against a famous boxer? Despite the overwhelming odds, Conor McGregor still has a chance to win the fight. What gives him a chance of winning? McGregor used to have a stance in which his guard wasn't held too high, and his body would be in a line facing the opponent. This makes it impossible for McGregor to stop any incoming blows in time, leaving his head vulnerable to getting hit. However, this changed after McGregor's defeat at UFC 229 at the hands of Khabib the Eagle Nurmagomedov. Floyd Mayweather and Khabib Nurmagomedov were able to exploit Conor McGregor's low guard and gain an advantage. Mayweather was able to hit numerous blows on the head of the Irishman, while Khabib was only able to land one punch that was successful in knocking McGregor down. McGregor faced up against Donald Cowboy Cerrone in the octagon for the first time since his defeat at the hands of Nurmagomedov at UFC 246 which took place on January 18th of 2020. McGregor uploaded a video of himself working out at the UFC Performance Institute in Enterprise, Nevada, nine days before the fight. He was seen in the video working out on the pads while assuming a different stance than usual. 
His new stance was a typical boxing stance, in which he would retain a high guard and lean forward while maintaining a square body position. This position was similar to the ones used by well-known infighters in heavyweight boxing, such as Iron Mike Tyson and Joe Frazier. This stance gives fighters the ability to make a quick entry inside the reach of their opponent and perform unrelenting volume assaults while protecting their own heads at the same time. It was with this position that the legendary boxer Joe Frazier defeated Muhammad Ali and handed him his first loss in his career as a professional boxer. The posture is the worst possible thing that can happen to an outfighter. Because Mayweather is an outfighter, he will be in grave peril if McGregor adopts this style when they square off for the second time. McGregor, who is larger and has a longer reach than Mayweather, would have the advantage of employing his punching power more aggressively from a greater distance, which Mayweather would have difficulty covering. Who will win in a fight outside the boxing ring? Mayweather has a good chance of defeating McGregor in a boxing rematch, but McGregor would easily defeat Mayweather in almost any other type of fight. What if it were a mixed martial arts bout? That goes to McGregor without a doubt. A kickboxing fight? McGregor will get an easy win. A grappling match? No chance for Mayweather. Any fight with Conor McGregor that takes place outside of the boxing ring would be a career-ending move for Mayweather. Floyd might be in good shape for boxing, but he's not even close to being ready for MMA, let alone street fights or no-hold-barred bouts. Conor would be too much for him to handle. There's no room for debate regarding that. In November of 2016, after making a move up in weight from 145 to 155 pounds and knocking out the champion at that weight class at the time, Eddie Alvarez, he became the first fighter in history of the UFC to simultaneously hold two championships in two different weight divisions. McGregor has established an overall skill set far more extensive and sophisticated than the one that Mayweather employs to win his boxing contests, as he is on his way to the top of the MMA hierarchy. McGregor may be best renowned for his heavy-handed southpaw striking, but he also holds a brown belt in BJJ, which he learned under the tutelage of John Kavanaugh. McGregor would have an advantage over Mayweather in any fight that involved more than just straight boxing since Mayweather does not have the same variety of fighting styles in his arsenal as McGregor has. McGregor has the ability to easily take the fight to the ground and submit Floyd if he so chooses, or he can use his renowned kicking game to keep himself out of punching range while still inflicting damage to Mayweather's legs, body, and head. After Floyd takes a couple of leg kicks, the fight will be over. There would be no more of it. Conor McGregor said it would take him less than 30 seconds to wrap around Mayweather like a boa constrictor and strangle him, if they were to fight in the octagon. Who do you think will come out on top in a fight between Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, let us know who you would love us to talk about in our subsequent videos. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next one. Peace.